Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us here on The Wax at 7 o'clock. I'm Nicole Malefa. And I'm Caitlin Nuclo. We appreciate you being here. We do have a lot to talk about, but first, we want to get to our big story of the day. The weather, of course. Meteorologist Jill Gilardi in with the check on your first alert forecast. All right, Jill, what's the what's happening here? The verdict. All yes. right. <laughs> we have initiated the first alert again today. Uh, the heat wave across the state truly begins. But yesterday we had a 90 degree high in the Hartford area. So technically the heat wave started yesterday. Two times so far this year we have reached 90 degrees. That total is going to go up each and every day for potentially the next six more days. So enjoy the nice start. Again, the heat wave began yesterday for very localized areas, Hartford area. Otherwise, today it begins for the state. First alert for that record heat and a feel over 100 Wednesday through Friday, which are first alert weather days. So that's a degree higher uh, than you know first alerting you. New London right now again enjoy the morning temperatures. This is a time of day if you like to do anything strenuous outdoors do it now before we get to 10 o'clock past that it's going to get too hot especially inland but shoreline hey you're escaping some of the worst of the heat thanks to that wind coming up out of the south. It is in the low 70s already and we have a few spots still hanging out in the mid and upper 60s not for long though today the hour by hour forecast shows already by noon, probably close to 90 degrees inland shoreline 78. Again, many of you may be taking that ride south or maybe you're already there and you're like, all right, so beat the heat by going to the shoreline. Otherwise, stay inside, find air conditionings and avoid those hot temperatures in the 90s inland today and feeling hotter. There is signs of hope around the corner. We will talk more about that coming up a little bit later in your first alert forecast. All right, Jill, thank you so much. Let's get right into your first alert traffic right now. We've been telling you all morning that I-95 North is closed in Brantford between exits 53 and 54. It still is. However, you can see it appears that they're getting ready to reopen the highway right now. In fact, it looks like they just did. Check this out as uh, you see police trucks as well as other vehicles as well. It looks like the center lane and the left lane have now reopened. You can see there is a detour vehicle in place there, uh, diverting the traffic a little bit. Again, we know this is all because of a serious crash involving a tractor trailer, and we have been told that serious injuries are involved as well. Also, the rest of the state looking pretty darn good right now, though, as you take a look in Hartford, Waterbury, Meriden, and in Middletown, although we do know we just picked up a motorcycle crash in Preston on Route, True near, Route 2 near Maynard Hill Road. We'll keep an eye on that for you as well. That is a look at your first load track report driven by your Connecticut Chevy dealers. Caitlin, over to you. Breaking overnight in Manchester, police had Lydall Street closed for quite some time for an investigation there. The road is back open now, but it's not exactly clear what happened or if anyone was hurt there. And you are taking a look at video right now of the investigation that took place earlier this morning, just after 3 a.m. A lot of state cruisers there, and you can see that vehicle completely off of the road there. We're still trying to get you some more information, and we're trying to find out if anyone was hurt. So we'll continue to make those calls and bring you any updates by way of the WFSB app. East Lyme Police Chief Michael Finkelstein will face a judge today after being charged with disorderly conduct and breach of peace. And then tonight a police commission, the East Lyme Police Commission meeting will be taking place to talk about personnel issues. This all comes after state police say Finkelstein and a female victim got into an argument that turned physical earlier this month after he had multiple drinks. Finkelstein is accused of punching and choking the woman and throwing his phone at her chest. It's not clear what will happen to his career, but the town's first selectman is reassuring everyone that there will be no lapse in protection. Our Wethersfield Town Council and the entire community stands with our police. Some call it damage control, while others say it's reassuring to hear those words from Wethersfield Mayor Ken Lesser. This after another council meeting to address the town's flag fiasco last night. You may remember the council voted not to fly the thin blue line flag at Town Hall after the death of fallen state trooper first class Aaron Pelletier. Officials say there's a policy that requires 30 days notice before any non-government flag can go up, but supporters of the thin blue line flag say an exception should have been made here. It's not clear if officials will make amendments to the town policy. With high temperatures forecasted all week long, it's the perfect time for a reminder, right, to not only take precautions for yourself, but your kids and your pets as well. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones has a few tips as the temperatures rise. 
This is pretty similar to when you're on an airplane and they tell you to put on your mask and then help others. So it's important to look out for yourself and then also take care with pets and kids as well. So the first key is hydration. Make sure that young pets and also kids are drinking enough water on their own. Keep lots of H2O around and if you have trouble remembering, set alarms for hydration breaks. Now, dress kids in cool, lightweight and loose fitting clothing. Keep both pets and children in and cool shady areas if you're outside and do walks with your animal early in the morning or after the sun goes down. Make sure that you test the pavement with the back of your hand for seven seconds. If it's too hot for you, it's too hot for them. And never ever leave kids and pets in the back of the car, even for a quick errand with windows down. This is how tragic accidents happen. Also, make it fun. Make sure you talk to your kids about weather and you can download the WFSB app to watch for yourself. In Berlin, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Those are some uh, great tips. Uh, don't forget them, especially, you know, walking the pets outside. You may not even realize it. And then you put your palm down, you know, you bag your hand and you're like, oh, Oh, yeah, that is very hot. Okay, and uh, we're going to be feeling even hotter than what the temperature, uh, the apparent temperature is going to be the next several days. But notice there is a decline ahead. There is uh, some of that heat that's going to be kind of backing off a little bit, a little bit as we approach the weekend. Uh, but excessive heat watch again for the same counties, uh, Hartford and Tolland, and also included in that the heat advisory are those two counties, uh, which includes the majority of our state state through Friday, the exception down along the immediate shoreline. We also have an air quality alert in effect. All those counties in gray, you can get more information through the WFSB First Alert weather app. That starts at 11 a.m. through 11 p.m. It's for sensitive groups. You have uh, asthma, things like that. You may want to avoid the outdoors for a long period of time. And in general, may want to do it because of the heat. But right now it's 71. This is the best feeling air you're going to get all day long. Low 70s, upper 60s. And the day ahead features highs inland in the 90s, shoreline in in the low 80s. Uh, the heat, well, could it be record breaking? More on that coming up a little bit later. We'll send it over to you now, Nicole.